Oh, what's this? Welcome everyone. You are Templar. Tangles. A horror game. What's it called? Like environmental horror. Oh god, I do I am Basil. I just realized. My story begins with an end. And ends with a beginning. I was begins part of a team of eight soldiers. Chosen to participate in a mysterious mission in an abandoned camp. It was so bad. On the first week of our arrival, I suffered a serious injury during training and fell into a coma. I fought death during that time, and I couldn't remember anything except hearing my comrades fighting death on the other side. I would hear their screams from time to time That's not good. until silence filled the place. I had no idea how much time had passed during my coma. It is certainly not a short time. But my story didn't end there. <laughs> in it fact, had just begun. Because like I said in the beginning, my story ends at the beginning and begins with an end. No, it begins with an ending and ends with a beginning. Because I'm deep. I'm deep and different like that. How long have I been in bed? Is this where I had my coma? Fine, every hour I lie hours. Why is is that the correct way to spell lie? Observe. Look at the clock for ten seconds. See your past. Live your present. What? <laughs> Are you talking about how it takes like a few like nanoseconds for your brain to register what time it is? So technically, like you're looking at the past. Always, you never actually seen reality at the exact moment. What's this? There's a tear in the mattress. <laughs> that would, would it would astute observation. I need a sharp tool to cut it. Oh, thank you. Well, it makes it easy. Well, there's a note over here, though. The friend of yesterday and the enemy of the future, Basil. I know you will read this letter. After I have left you alone, but I have no other choice. I left the camp after learning the bitter truth. A truth you are yet to discover one. No, yet to discover. One that will weigh heavy on your heart as the years pass. I was supposed to leave you here to die, but harsh reality shows me that it won't happen. Even if I tried. I feel a wildness that pushes me to let you endure the pain. Yet I know you'll carry the burden of those ev events in your heart for years to come. I leave you this letter as a sign of what happened. You don't understand it now, but you'll surely understand later. I have no choice but to leave you here in this dark island in this cursed camp. We will meet again, but in what manner? Exclamation! I don't understand. Yeah, I don't understand either, brother man. Hold on, is that... Is that tearing? Is that a slight stutter tearing? Is that like a weird... Like, is that like motion? Y'all seen this? I'm not saying the game's the best game ever. Definitely looks like there's a weird, like, grainy... Slap filter all over everything. Well, let's see if we can fix that. Uh we'll try we'll try turning that on. We'll see what happens. Let's look let's look at everything else. Shading, view distance. No, nothing. Oh, is that for like motion blur, you know what I mean? I think it's still there, but definitely not as bad. Hold on, actually, let me make sure there's not something I'm... Oh, that, that's just my TV being crappy over there. <laughs> Maybe it was nothing at all. Looks a little bit better to me now, though, honestly. It's locked. I'll need a key to get it, or some sort of combination. God, it's dark in here. Ah! The thunder rolls of demons. Who are they? Who are they? Are they peoples? 
Is that a picture of peeps? So this must be like atmosphere car, but I like a, with a big puzzle element, I'm assuming. <gasps> the great outdoors. Hey, it's not so bad. There's hawks. The rain suddenly stopped. Who's that? <laughs> Who is that guy? Why'd that light explode? Why all the lights turn off as soon as that one exploded? <laughs> Hold for run. Why would I need to run? It must be the exit from this place. There's a dude crying over there. Wait, so... Right stick's my run, but this is my running speed. Closed. I might be able to open it through the control room. I don't know, but there's a big cut for that wire there. I think the door is locked with a key card control device. But I doubt I'll be able to use it with the power outage. Oh. The power is completely out in this room. Oh, I like my movement speed. Let me into the bloody room. Oh no. This room be bloody, says I. Can I close the door behind me? Or oh, close automatically. Good. I like those 1970s auto doors. I need to find a way to stop the steam flow. My god, is this subduction but the, the horror version? The steam is doing stuff. This is doing that. I have nowhere to go. Everything's locked. Everything's broken, too. Oh, now I can go through here. Well, at least it's introducing it to me in pieces, right? <laughs> should, I should be able to click on this and be like, sand. Oh no. <laughs> right? This tape might be useful. Show inventory. Now that is some high quality blue duct tape. Look at that. That is shiny. What is that? Is that that military blue duct tape? A combination of duct tape and electrical tape fused together? to make the best tape ever. What's this? One fuse is missing. I'll need to find fuse. There's a note here. Can I read it? Fine, I found some time to write in this memo. It's been a long, exhausting day. I had to fix some electrical equipment that broke down after the weird things that happened two days ago. But there is one thing that bothers me. One of the fuses that is needed for the electrical efficiency has disappeared. I learned that the security guard took it and didn't return it. I would like to report this problem to my commander, but he's too busy preparing for the next mission. Maybe I'll try again tomorrow. Until then, I'll leave this memo here, in case the security guard comes back and wants to return the fuse. If anyone is reading this note, please don't mess with any of the equipment here. This equipment is very sensitive and dangerous if used incorrectly. I can't think of a logical reason for the security guard to take this fuse. Maybe it's just a misunderstanding. Or maybe there's something bigger and more evil going on. That evil, you know the evil sinister people like to take fuses and hide them? That evil. I hope, you I hope to find out the truth before it's too late. Quickly, before it's too late. Before this, before this dangerous equipment, including sand, concrete mix, cones, road dividers. Before it gets used for evil. Alright, I forgot about the debris bags to make blockades, you know. So far, I've just got a, a, a list of things to fix around the office. How do I stop the steam, though? Is it the fuse? I can't go in the water, but I can't drown myself. Oh, I'll activate my... <gasps> Whoa! That was startling. No one is inside the vehicle. Well, someone just put a brick in there and sent it to the fence. 
By the way, that was very weird. That should, that should have kept on going, I think. It was going full speed. I would have needed to have jumped out of the way. Just that chain link fence? I don't think I got caught in that. This chain link fence broke in a weird way. <laughs> like it was made of like... Like was it non-Newtonian fluid or something? Can I take a candle with me? It's kind of dark. It's kind of romantic to be honest with you. Caution. I can't go in there. Too much caution. Oh, is this a paint tray? Were they paint repainting this building? Three triangles. What does it all mean? Is there anything over here? What do we have here? Another note. History, truth, dreams. Oh, I remember that album. Good old history, truth, dreams. I never imagined that our trip would turn into a nightmare. I was enjoying my stay in the camp, despite the fact that it was on a remote and lifeless island. I came with my colleagues to do our duty towards the country, and we saw it was a great opportunity to learn something new and get away from the pressures of the city. But what happened recently was quite the opposite, as unusual things began to appear on the island. Some of my colleagues complained about losing some of their belongings, and some of them said they saw and heard strange things in the middle of the night. I did not believe them at first, and I thought they were exaggerating. Until I myself witnessed a terrifying incident last night. I heard some noises and scary screams in the basement that I used as a prison in the camp. I went to see what was happening, but I found the basement door locked with a chain. I was so afraid I did not dare to open it, so I quickly went back to my room and tried to sleep. <laughs> Discovered my basement was locked with a mysterious chain after I heard screams coming from within inside and said, Eh, it can wait for tomorrow. You know what I'm talking about. When I woke up in the morning, I found a leak in the steam room, but the problem is not here. What? Uh, but that the valve I need to stop the flow of steam has disappeared. And if I do not find it soon, there might be a damage and losses in the camp. It's probably just bad translations, to be honest. I, I searched for it everywhere without success. I do not know who took it. Does the chaos that happened last night have anything to do with the disappearance? I tried to ask for help uh, from the commander and tell him everything that ha happened. Um, but I did not see him since last night. I wish I could get out of this island before I go crazy or something bad happens to me. He has time to write notes but not find things that he needs. Can I open this? No? Is there nothing else I need here? Ah, something sharp kitchen knife. This is, this is going to be like Cry of Fear where I have to go in my inventory and select it to do stuff. Can it, now that I have it, it automatically goes, right? Run time. <sighs> it is time for me to discover the problems and the disappearances that are happening in my island base. Whoa. Where did this hanging corpse come from? <laughs> this is unusual. That wasn't there last time. Should I touch it? This is not a proper way for storing corpses. It's not even refrigerated in here. Behind every hour lie hours. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> what should I use? The duct tape to fix it? Let's use a knife. Ah, the guard's key card. I didn't expect to find the guard's card in here. <laughs> what did you expect to find in there? Drugs? Paraphernalia? Lottery tickets? I stabbed the locker open. The knife was very good for stabbing. The dead body was there, so it did not concern me yet. For it could stay there and not do harm to me. Please tell me I don't have to go into the sewer. They got the key card, but the power, it won't do the work. Unless I have to duct tape this. Do I duct tape this? Did it work? Wires has been fixed. 
Yes. The wires has been fixed. Lock. Oh, lock. Use key card. It's working. It's working. My excitement was increasing. The excitement of being able to get the locker key. Oh, it's all coming together now. <laughs> Everything's coming up Thrill House. Let me read. I can't sleep. Something unex... Uh, unexplicable happened. It was a normal night, like any other night. I was in the control room, watching Lost, drinking tea. Hey, <laughs> Hurley, he won the lottery. He got the numbers. Huh. When it was midnight, I saw something in the steam room through the monitors. I wasn't sure what it was, so I left the control room and went to the steam room. When I entered the steam room, I didn't find anything strange, but I heard some weird noises behind me. But the room was empty. Suddenly, I heard the door closing hard behind me. I went to the door and tried to open it. But it was locked so tightly I couldn't get out. I felt panic and fear. I didn't know what happened. So I shouted at the top of my voice hoping someone would help me. Then I heard a sound from outside as if someone was pulling out the fuse to disable the door lock. Then the door opened and I ran to the control room and didn't look behind me. I have no explanation for what happened. And I don't know who closed the door or who helped me. But it's something that can't be ignored. <laughs> no sh... If I should file a report, I suspect the crazy geologist, for he may have something to do with what has happened. Or he may be telling the truth in his explanations of everything that happens. But what I do know is that the camp is not safe anymore. Since we arrived at the camp, strange things keep happening. I'll leave this note here in case something happens to me. Good plan. I like that creepy music. Dude, you should really clean the floor up in here. You call this a security office? This is kind of unprofessional. You got like bits of everything everywhere. I guess the lever is useless with the unstable electricity. But I might find a way to keep the electricity stable. If only there was a way. Fix the electrical box. It's the, the, the dude took the fuse, but I guess the fuse isn't in here. Oh, the radio turned off now that I left. That's good. Ugh. Full speed, activate. I don't think full speed works. I seem to be stopping now. Oh, now I can go. Now I can go. It's fine. It's one of those <laughs> full speed glitches that happen. It's my controller. I think the input on the left stick is going out for some reason. But only when I'm doing full speed things. If I'm just walking around, it seems to work fine. Kind of. Locker. A locker key found in the control room. Use. A bolt cutter. Now I has the means to cut. What? What's happening? Even time in this place suffocates in mystery. <laughs> what a sentence. Time in this place suffocates in mystery. Oh, that body was there Another before. dead body. What is happening here? Mystery things. I like the lightning. Bah. What is happening here? Time don't work. The dead bodies keep appearing. This place is suffocated in the mysteries. Another dead body. Gotcha. The dead surround me from everywhere. I did not ask for dead. Why did I find bolt cutters? What do I need the bolt cutters for? I don't remember the fuck being this thick. That's a bad sign. How is that a bad sign? Isn't that just nature? Doesn't fog naturally sometimes get thicker and then looser at other times? Break that chain. Oh no, now I am in the prison. 
full of the evil. <gasps> The screams, the fear and terror. That actually did get me. Face on the window. What is he doing here? <laughs> is he doing? Is he suffocating in mystery? What's this? In a tragic incident, a jet belonging to the National Air Force crashed on the deserted island located in a remote area of the sea, killing the pilot who was flying it. According to official sources. The jet was on a military mission over the camp that is located on the island, which has been witnessed violent cra clashings with the rebels. Ah, oh, damn rebels, that's what it was. The cause of the crash is not yet clear, but there are suspicions that it may have come under fire from one of the warring factions. The Army General Command announced an investigation into the incident. Mourning the pilot and praising his bravery and sacrifices in defense of the country. They stressed that this incident would not deter them from continuing to fight the rebels and maintain security and stability in the country. Expressing condolences to the pilot's family and colleagues. Oh, I thought at least they did that. Truth. The math. There's no escape so from the math. trying to understand what really happened to this place. Yeah, they tried to use calculus and trigonometry to find out how the evil was happening. Ah, oh, they're trying to find the circumference of a cone. Truth. Something in green. I came to the island to do my duty as a soldier, but now they just had me doing trig trigonometry in a prison. Sorry, couldn't resist. Uh, as a soldier, and as a geologist, a soldier geologist, a sol soldierologist. God knows I need to take the war to those rocks. I love the smell of sulfur in the morning. Hold on, uh, but it has been, it has been a month since I was arrested by my commander, who accuses me of spreading rumors about rocks being terrorists. Uh, never mind, sorry. And myths among the soldiers and affecting their morale. They locked me in a dark and cold cell, not allowing me to communicate with anyone. They took away all my weapons, my uniform, and my identity, leaving me with only this note and pen, and a couple of chalk crayons, like, right on the walls. Don't worry about it. It's been three days since I last saw a guard come to my cell. No one gave me food or water, and I feel dehydrated and weak. I'm afraid to die of hunger and thirst in this play, dark place. What happened to everyone in the camp? Did they leave? Or perhaps they all disappeared like the others? Yes. When I was doing geo geological measurements of sea the sea at C2 area, I accidentally detected extraordinary fluctuations in the camp's electromagnetic field. Fluctuations far beyond normal limits. Some might say abnormal limited fluctuations. After many measurements, I have concluded that this camp is located above a very strong electromagnetic field. And this field, oh, this is where they got that lost idea from, watching the episode of Lost. Ah, the, the, the teleporting island and the time jumps, yes. The Bermuda Triangle and the, the, the alien, ancient alien generator made by, for the Greeks. Uh, this field causes disturbances in time, causing some strange phenomena, such as the appearance of things that do not belong to this time, in the form of flashes that occur randomly in different places of the island. These flashes are only reflections of events from the recent past, allowing for a partial transfer of matter and energy between time and space, but randomly and unstable for a few seconds. That's not good. I saw some of these flashes with my own eyes, and I was terrified and surprised. I, was person I have personally seen corpse soldiers from old wars, and I have also seen a warplane flying over the island. Strange sounds and light heard and seen at night and things moving from one place to another for an apparent no reason for no apparent reason I think I said that wrong and weird I have a lot of questions so I decided to share my findings with my colleagues and ask them to help answer those questions but they did not believe me and reported me to the commander who came to me and ordered me to be taken away by force he said that I was spreading rumors and causing panic among the soldiers, that I was obscuring the performance of our mission, and then he threw me into this cell, or the cell. And here I am now, trapped in a dark place, 
with no hope of salvation. I don't know what happened to my colleagues or to those who disappeared. Maybe they are in another place at another time. Or maybe it was me who disappeared. The maybe closer I get to discovering the truth, the more mysterious it becomes. <laughs> what are you, Adam Jensen? Is this two sex? The closer I get to finding the truth, the more mysterious it becomes. It was a myth wrapped in enigma, wrapped in mystery. What did I gain from this room? Just that, the note? There was nothing else? Did I gain truth? Was that a thing? Like for me, they didn't log me in here. God, it's dark, another dead body. A squiggly goo man. <laughs> That's evidence of something dark and disturbing, right? Very atmospheric, I'll I give it that. Think carefully before going down the stairs. Me. Okay, I'm thinking carefully. Careful. 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 Careful thoughts. Dead body, of course. A lot of dead bodies around. Well, I think the body was recently hung. It's been dead for a while. But who killed him? And why they put him here of all places? Dreams! I have the valve now for the steam room. I can't pull the lever. There's an electrical problem. But where? Is it the flashlights? Is it the light light? I'm just gonna ignore that dead body. Go to the steam room now. I'll be back, dead body. Stay dead, please. I had to unravel the mysteries of the place that is being. What? Is someone knocking the door? Did I answer it? I can't answer it for some reason. Uh, I'll talk to you later, buddy. Keep on knocking that door for me, would you? <laughs> ah! <laughs> it, am I suffocating in the mystery? Is that what's happening? Here? <laughs> what was that? Could I grab something? Oh. Was that a vision? Or did I teleport through time space? Well, the plane crashing there would have been a problem, yeah? Did the fog get thinner now? Shouldn't I comment on that? <laughs> the fog was thick, but now it got thinner. What the hell's going on here? Time and weather was changing. Changing bad. Hold on, this is for a different steam room though, isn't it? That's the same steam room. The steam room I need to get to is over there. Do I have to use this valve multiple times? I have the valve now. What should I do next? Should I... Should I kill them? Should I... Should I take salad? The valve don't go here. Equipment danger. Is the, that the only place I can put the valve? I can't put the valve over here? These are big valve spots. Don't tell me that valve way over there turns off the steam way over here. That'd be weird. But okay, I guess. Right? I don't see anywhere else to put it. Alright, Valve, do your stuff. It's the Valve. Here we go. Control steam. <laughs> Way over there. Stop the steam. Which looks like they're trying to ex they were trying to execute the, the fuse and knew too much about the history truth dreams. The moon was all wibbly wobbly, wobbly wobbly. It reminded me of the mysteries that I was suffocating in. I was breathing in mystery and exhaling truth. I have the fuse now. Another note by the axe. If you are reading this, I am one of the technicians here. I want to inform you that the circuit breaker here is not working. 
Not only because it is broken, but also because of the electrical loads in the camp have reached unprecedented levels. Since the basement was built under the camp, the electrical loads have begun to increase like crazy. With every operation of devices and systems, we notice a decrease in the stability of electricity. Basically, something's off. The circuitry's a little bit wonky now. I don't know. The circuit breaker is not able to handle these high loads, and the result is frequently outages and disruptions in the supply of electricity. Things are getting worse day by day, and this poses a big challenge for the te technical team. So we may find ourselves in complete darkness soon if things continue like this. Oh, we are doing our best to address the problem, but it seems that the cutter needs to be improved and developed to suit those, these, those loads. Our load should be reduced by turning off electricity when not needed. If you know of any solutions or suggestions that help us improve this situation, we are waiting to hear from you. And until then, you should be prepared for sudden power outages. Ah, yeah, the one note that wasn't sinister. Oh! Who is here? Who slammed that door open? Huh. Ooh. Pubes. I use. All the doors work now. Which one do I do? I have to go back to the control room. I think the lever is working now. And if lever working, that means control room go go. Uh, uh. Do you run? Are you afraid of running? What is what is this? Uh, uh. No. He bang on door, but he no door bang. Going crazy. Is that the mystery juice? Is that the mystery dead body? The crazy, it's getting to me. This place drives me crazy. It's the truth dreams, bro. They're getting to me. That's not good. That is bad. Oh, the bodies are wiggling. The bodies are wiggling and waggling. normal way, I tell you that much. He got the explodes on him. He is a blue-eyed exploder. Some of the trees spawn in the background. The fog got thick again. It was thick, then it got thin, but then now it's thick again. What is happening around here, man? The fog is moving on its own and doing what it wants to. The closer I get to the mystery, the closer I get to my dreams. Should I read note again? Or just flick switch? Finally. Warning. What? The door is locked. Who's that guy? This man is suspicious. <laughs> Is it safe for me to go out now? Should I go get suspicious, man? This man is suspicious. Suspicious man. He's gone now. He had the axe in his hand. The dead body that was over there is gone now, too. It moved over here. Should I drive away? I got in Jeep. I ran so far away. So that was the history truth dreams that I was looking for. Is that it? What? <laughs> Why was the average playtime like an hour? What? Do a bunch of stoners go to play this game? What was that about? 
That was something else. <laughs> that was... I get what it was trying to do. It was trying to be like... I mean... It was fairly easy. It did give me to jump a couple of times. I didn't think it'd be that short, though. Ah, thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. It's a home studio. We'll let that play for a little bit. Ah, oh, someone made the bolt cutter tree 3D model. Oh man, these guys. Listen, I'm not saying it's not a bad direction to go, but maybe stretch out that puzzle element a little bit. Scrape that bread over that bread just a little bit more. I feel like we got a slice of bread. We got like this much butter and we got like maybe a third of it covered if you get what I'm saying. That was Tangles. Uh, they have the weird like Celtic triangle symbol that never came up except for like that one time where the triple triangles. That didn't really answer any questions either. You never got to go inside that building. I get the idea though. I mean, it pretty much said it pretty much bold face on its face. I watched Lost and then I had an idea. And I made a video game about it. And I had made, filled some, put some messages in there about war, but also made it, whoa, creepy, scary skeletons. What's going to happen? That was pretty cool, though. Got to admit. Like the whole, like, plane crashing thing. Definitely a lot shorter than I thought it was going to be. It did have its moments, though. And it was pretty. It was a very pretty game, too. I think so. For what it was, for what it was worth, it wasn't bad. Definitely wasn't mind-blowing free on steam i believe so play at your own risk sorry if i spoiled <laughs> spoiled all the the difficult puzzles of go here pick up thing go there pick up other thing watch out for those truth dreams though i did have fun with it though there was something about the broken language thing that really did ease the tension a lot otherwise it did have its own sense of atmosphere but something about i only read one description and somehow I knew from that one description, I was like, I'm not going to be in any real danger here. <laughs> I'm just going to, uh, I, I had a weird prediction. I didn't know if it was going to be true or not, because I saw the dude with the axe. I saw the dude, like, uh, the dude crying in the window. I was like, okay, what's going to happen, actually? Because I, I didn't watch any videos about it. I just went into it blind. I went. I read one review, and it did not, like, have spoilers about it. It's like, eh, it's not going to revolutionize horror but it's not bad and i was like all right fair enough let's do it but i i think i'll leave this one here thank you all you all Templar. that was tangles hopefully y'all enjoyed please like comment subscribe hit that like button i'll see you all in the next game keep on posting y'all take it easy can't go in there too much caution Oh, is this a paint tray? Were they paint repainting this building? Three triangles. What does it all mean? Is there anything over here? What do we have here? Another note. History, truth, dreams. Oh, I remember that album. Good old history, truth, dreams.